So two fingers to finger picking. And for those of you who live in the English speaking parts of Western Europe, it's not those two fingers. So here we are in part 8 of the 12 part low G playing technique video series. And we're getting into the business end of this series of videos now where a lot of the earlier videos were foundation techniques that feed into this video and the three or four that follow. Now the topic is finger picking. And I have determined that there are three categories of finger picking. And for delighted das Deutsche Sprechen, das ist drei Kategorien. And das ist sehr wichtig. Drei Gläser. Anyway, the three categories are patterned finger picking, riff finger picking, and rhythm finger picking. Now let's look at those in that order. So the headline for this video, of course, is two fingers to finger picking. And the first category, patterned finger picking, doesn't actually follow those principles, but I'm going to cover it anyway. Now, I remember learning patterned finger picking when I was being taught the guitar many years ago. And uh, I, I also see a number of videos out there uh, with the title, the only two finger picking patterns you're ever going to need for ukulele or guitar. Now, I can only assume it's the stuff that I was taught all those years ago. So I'm going to uh, show you those anyway. And uh, the first one is a uh, six step finger picking uh, pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and the second one is a four step finger picking pattern. probably haven't played those since I was 10 and it also reminds me uh, of uh, playing songs in this style so it would be do 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 and so on now, of course, do is not one of the official words in the low G strumming language. So that song was just a load of doo-doo. Now, of course, if you actually like uh, the sound of that finger picking style and like the sort of, um, I suppose, the the um, the standard uh, pattern of it, uh, by all means, use it. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a bit twee and it's not for me. So I'm going to give it the two finger treatment and pick it up in category three later in the video. The second category is riff finger picking. Now, what is a riff? Well, a riff is a series of notes usually driven by rhythm and it's repeated over and over again as the backdrop to a song. Now, some famous riffs would be uh, the guitar part of uh, Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones or the uh, intro uh, to um, Day Tripper by the Beatles. Uh, another one might be The Last Time by the Rolling Stones. And then, of course, a song that uh, is featured on this channel and is one of the earliest videos I did was I Feel Fine by the Beatles. And, of course, in that video, I say something that's very relevant to the here and now. The opening chord is that D7th. And I use my thumb and index finger to pick the notes for the riff around that chord shape. To come to the conclusion that two fingers to finger picking was the best way forward was something that didn't happen overnight. When I uh, picked up a ukulele for the first time a few years ago, coming across from the guitar, my natural instinct was to use a 
guitar pick to play the ukulele and a guitar pick a bit like this one here now of course when you uh, use a pick to pick a string on any stringed instrument there's great attack in the sound now what does that mean attack is where the first couple of thousands of a second of the sound is sharp and loud and then of course the the sound decays off uh, and uh, you need to get that attack uh, to get the right tone so that things actually sound real uh, as I say in those tags about play such and such a song and make it sound real. Now let's listen to this. Sounds great, doesn't it? But what I came to the conclusion of very quickly is that this was too heavy handed. Uh, the plastic is uh, quite, uh, you know, stiff. And when you uh, play other uh, styles, even within the same song, it's a bit like uh, tapping a picture hook into the wall with a lump hammer. So then I evolved into these things which I found and these, uh, this is called a flectrum and it's uh, a plectrum beginning with a P is uh, another name for a guitar pick and this is a flectrum which it's uh, actually uh, uh, some sort of uh, softer plastic inside and it's covered in felt so it's not quite so heavy handed it's actually sort of a, a smaller hammer let's say than the lump hammer and it works it has great attack as well okay but what i did come to the conclusion of then over a, a period of time was that i was missing out on a lot of the subtleties let's say of ukulele playing by actually using a pick and i came to the conclusion that the best thing to do is use these two fingers thumb and index finger to do all uh, playing and all finger picking so but i still needed to get the attack in the sound that i was getting with the pick so how do i do that well what you'll have noticed uh, if you've watched any of the videos is that i have this thing of a thumb pick so i usually have a down pick with the thumb um, on the g string and sometimes it goes down onto the c string as well but mostly the g string and then all other picking is done with an upward index finger pick with my uh, with my index finger obviously so i can get the attack how do i do that well uh, let's just demo this so here's um the open uh, e string thumb index finger can you hear the difference the thumb that is much softer because it's been plucked with the pad of my thumb and then if i pluck it with the uh, index finger because my nail is actually taking the place of the plastic in the pick it's got that attack so i get the uh, same effect uh, as i would with any of those picks Now one other thing to point out of course is uh, there's another song up on the uh, channel as well Sweet Home Alabama which has a, a, a riff in it that has to be picked and it has to again have great attack. Have a quick listen. Turn it up! Okay, so one of the things you'll notice I do here is I need to uh, put in a little uh, lick or whatever in between the riffs so I can go. So you hear how that has a tack because I'm actually playing the G and the C strings with my, with my index finger and my nail is giving it that tone. As opposed to. Much softer. So that's how I came to the conclusion that two fingers to finger picking was the way to go. Let's move on. 
So the third category is rhythm picking. And for me, this is the most important one of all. Now, when you talk about playing rhythm, whether it's on a ukulele or a guitar, you normally associate that with strumming, which is correct. But advanced rhythm playing is where the player can uh, seamlessly mix picking and strumming uh, to give texture, I suppose, to the, the playing style in the song. Now, uh, one of the early videos in this uh, series, I think it is par uh, part two, talks about intonation. And it talks about how songs typically develop from being simple to more complex to going back to simplicity and then having some sort of grand finale. And your playing style as a rhythm player is going to have to match that song arrangement. So it might be uh, worth your while actually going back and having a look at that. Also, the videos that follow that, which I think are part three to part six or something like that, uh, they talk about downstroke technique and upstroke technique and strumming techniques generally. Now, you might say, God, I've been playing the uh, ukulele for years. How can somebody be teaching me how to do downstrokes and upstrokes at this stage? Well, the point is, it's all about the shape, I suppose, of your main playing hand because uh, if you go back and have a look at those uh, that's generally the shape of my hand when I'm doing strumming but what you'll notice is here is that the thumb is readily available to do down plucks and my index finger is readily available to do upward index finger plucks so I can seamlessly replace a full downstroke with a thumb pick and I can seamlessly replace a full upstroke with an index finger pick. So that's why it's important that the basic technique of strumming is actually compatible with being able to do that. Now an example of this on the channel is Hotel California. And in that, uh, the, uh, there's a sequence, a chord sequence there. It's eight chords, it's 28 seconds long. The intro or the bridge is a great place to have a look at this in action because when I start the intro, it's mostly picking. And as I go through it, I muddy it up a bit by combining picking and strumming so that when I get to the end of the sequence, it's virtually all strumming. So again, that was... Uh, seamlessly combining both techniques. Let's have a, a quick listen. So having arrived at this point, now you know what I mean by two fingers to finger picking. So it just leaves me to say, my name is Greg, this is the Low GU channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.